Knowledge and expansion. This is what it means, just in case you guys didn't get the last memo. I usually like to start my videos off like this because people use this in meditation, and to me, painting is a meditation, um, which we are going to be expanding our creativity and also opening ourselves up to new insights. Since this is going to be the last painting tutorial of the year and we are going to start a whole new fresh year, I wanted to make this painting very meaningful. But this one is really true to my heart because I feel like, you know, a lot of us tend to go off of our path. And this painting is basically to remind us of the path we're going on, our own path. You know, we all have opinions of what is right and what is wrong, and we tend to push that upon other people. Out of good intentions or bad intentions, we focus on other people more than ourselves. Everyone has their own path so that way they can discover or learn what it is they need to learn. You know, whether if they're doing the wrong or right thing and we need to focus on ourselves. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to do this painting of a nice snowy path. And I will let you guys um, interpret this painting however way you like. I have my own interpretation of this painting. And if you guys want to share your interpretation, then share below and let's get started. For this painting, I'm using a picture I found on Pinterest, and if you're interested in printing out the same picture, then I will have the link below this video. Next, I will be using a acrylic retarder, which keeps the paint from drying too fast, and a spray bottle filled with water. The colors I will be using for this painting are red, blue, white, yellow, black, green, and brown. Other materials I will be using a pencil, paint brushes, paint knives, and a canvas. Start off by priming your canvas. The last time I forgot to do this and it just soaks up all of my expensive paint. So this time around, make sure to prime it with some gesso. Let your canvas set to dry for a good hour or so and then take out your picture and study it. Pay attention to the colors and the placement of everything. Here I'm just sketching out where the trees are going to be placed on my canvas and where the ground and sky will be. It's now time to mix the paint, so I'm going to mix a few shades of paint. First, I'm going to mix a warm white, and then I'm going to mix a warm gray, and also a very dark blue. With my three main colors, I will be able to paint the sky and also the trees later on. If you're afraid that your paint might dry, I recommend for you to score a little bit of the acrylic retarder in with the paint so that way it can keep your paint lasting a little longer and every now and then try spraying your paint with some water. All right guys, so now it's time to paint on the sky. And I like to usually start with the background first, so that is why I am working on the sky first. So I'm gonna start with the darker shade up top and the bottom of my canvas. Once I get the dark color in, then I'm going in with my medium shade and I'm blending that into the darker color. As you can see, I'm working on the top and the bottom and I'm kind of working my way to the center. And in the center, if you notice in the picture, the center is brighter. So I'm going to lighten as I go in gradually. And as I get toward my center, I'm going to paint that in with the warm white that I mixed earlier. The sky represents all the opportunities and possibilities that is open to us if we keep continuing on our path. It's now time to work on the trees and the trees symbolize the troubles that we face in life. We often view it as something that's dark, that's something big, that's something that's covering us and taking over our lives. But in a more positive perspective, it's actually guiding us on our path and showing us the easier way. To paint the trees, I added some green into my darkest mixture, and then I painted the silhouette. Once I'm happy with the silhouette, I come in with a lighter shade, and I just take some of that lighter gray and add it into the trees to give it more dimension. And as you can see, the trees that are closer to the light are lighter than the trees farther from it. To add in more details, I'm taking a smaller square brush and using the edge of it to add some texture and details. So I dipped it in a little bit of that warm white and a little of that gray to give the branches a nice highlight. 
play around with different brush strokes and see what works for you and different shades and then it will kind of all come together. If you're getting frustrated, I suggest for you to just walk away from your painting and then come back and take a look at it again and it will give you a nice fresh insight on you know what to fix or what else to paint. So now I'm working on the ground and I wanted to add a new fresh layer of paint on so that way I can start shading and blending the paints together. It just makes it more easier that way for me. So I started with white and then I go in with a darker shade. But I suggest for you to start with a darker shade first and then go in with white because the white is pretty strong based on what I noticed or come to find out. Um, so I'm adding in more grays, more blues to make the ground darker and I'm just going in long brush strokes from side to side. Since the pathway is between the trees, I thought it would make better sense to paint it darker. After my paint is dry, I am drawing in my umbrella and I just based it off of a picture I saw on Google. After that, I'm drawing in a silhouette of myself and this is me walking on my own path. Now I'm going to paint my umbrella red and red represents power, it represents strength, determination, passion, love and that will help me through harsh conditions so that way I can keep on walking and keep on going. Then with my darker shade of paint that I already had mixed, I'm going to give the umbrella a little bit more dimension by shading it in. After shading it in and mostly focusing on the back of the umbrella, I'm going to add in some white highlights for the snow part. So I actually wasn't happy with the silhouette of the person and I'm just going to paint that over with some more acrylic paint. And that, again, that's the great thing about acrylic paint. If you don't like something that you see, you can always fix it. So that's what I'm doing and then I'm just going to repaint in the body. And once I'm happy with the overall picture, it's now time to paint on the snowflakes. Painting can be a very personal and intimate experience with yourself. Do not focus too much on what other people are thinking about your painting. It should just be for the experience and how it makes you feel. This is a great time for you to reflect upon who you are inside and bring it out onto your canvas. Remember, we are all walking on our own path and we should take less focus on what other people choose to do with their lives because that is part of their adventure, part of their development, and we should focus on our growth and our improvement. So that concludes my video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for support. And if you can, comment below. Let me know any reflections that you guys had in this past year that kind of made you realize or taught you a valuable lesson. I think it'll be great for all of us to come together and share our life lessons. And also, one more thing, I will be having a video um, coming out very soon, and that is my little trip out to Martha's Vineyard, where I got to film some behind the scenes with HGTV Dream Home 2015. Um, I got to be in a little segment of that show as well, which will air on New Year's Day at 8 p.m. So if you guys have a television, don't forget to tune in to see me on air. Um, it's on HGTV and namaste and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah! Ciao!